welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick makeup look for you guys. Uh, this is just going to be doing, I'm just going to be doing my eyes for you on camera because I have everything else done. And this is just going to be a like cool tone brown makeup look that's good for every day or the fall. And I'm going to be using my Too Faced I Want Candy palette. This has just been my everyday palette I've been using since I got it. And I'm going to just take a brush right here and go into Banana Cream Pie and put that all over the lid just to use as a base. Okay. So next I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to go in with Cream Puff and blend that into the crease. I'm holding it. Okay. And you're just going to blend it until you get the darkness that you want out of the color. And I'm only blending on the crease. And I'm kind of going um, on the outer corner as well and blending it across on both lids. Okay, next I'm going to go into pastry right here. And also blend that into the crease. And this one I kind of blend a little bit lower and um, blend it up a little bit higher as well. I take the extra and blend it up. Okay, now I'm going to take a more denser brush and go into hot chocolate right here. And I'm going to focus that more on the outer corner. And blend it into the crease as well. And you want to just keep blending it until you get you're wanting. Takes a lot of blending. This is basically the look that I do almost every day. Um, Sometimes I do it a little bit lighter, but I really like brown tones for every day. Can go with any any um, outfit pretty much. Okay, so I have the darkness that I'm wanting. So now I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush and go into pastry again and just kind of soften the crease or the edges of this up cream puff color so blend that into the crease to even soften it even more And you can see I'm going pretty high with this, um, almost to the brow bone. That way you have some color throughout your eyelid and not just in one area. Um, let me just brush some of this fallout off my under eye. Okay, and then I'm going to take uh, that denser brush again and because I lost some of that darkness that I was wanting. And 
and just kind of tap that in. And then blending cream puff again. And then going back in with banana cream pie and just taking that up to the brow bone. Okay, and then I have, I'm going to take this little brush right here and go in with, into whipped cream. And I'm going to put that right on the inner corners. And it's just going to give you a nice light and brightness to your look. And put that also on the brown bone. Okay, and I'm going to go in with Sparkling Cider. It's just this shimmery shade. And I'm going to put it on my finger and just... Tap it on to my lid. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my lower lash line. And I'm going to take one of these little smudger brushes and go into pastry. That is that light brown shade. And just blend that across. And taking hot chocolate, just focusing that more on the outer corner of the lower lash line. I think I'm happy with how my eyeshadow is turning out, so I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild skinny tip eyeliner and this is in black and I just really like this one it's got a really t fine tip on here and I'm just gonna go ahead and do a wing real quick I've had this thing for so long it seems like I probably need to get a new one. Okay, I'm just going to hold my eyelid up here and start. You want to kind of draw a line like you're going from your lower eyelid going up. And then you want to connect that line and fill it in. And I cannot always get it perfect, but I try my best. And you're going to do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, and I'm just going to use this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is just a sample size, so I don't really have any good mascara right now.
Okay, and then after I do my mascara, I always go back in with my shadows and just take my blending brush and go back in and because I always tend to get mascara on my lid. So I just go back in with some of those colors and just blend it out. too dark but that's okay we'll just make it match okay and this is the finished look for you guys I hope you guys found this helpful and liked this tutorial and please give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and also hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and if you want to see more videos from me and I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video bye